Okay, I'm going to play around with this supersonic weight 48. So as you know, I've got all the back ends sorted out with all our upgrades. Um, so now it's time to have a little play around with the motors, I suppose. But I'm going to try something a little bit different, first of all. I've got a bunch of these little Scorpion uh, 40, 35, 800 kV motors. They're a 6S motor, and they used to use them a lot, like in... in twin cats like um, around about 10 years ago 15 years ago they're very popular they're actually a helicopter motor um, but they work well in boats and i had four of these in a big cat like a 60 inch very wide cat um or these four i should say um a long time ago uh, but what I'm going to do is just try it, do a base run with this, put a GPS in it, see how fast it goes, you know, with our setup on the back, not change anything. And then just try one of these motors and just see what happens. You know, they're, they're an outrunner, um, so you can't really cool them, that's the problem. Um, the advantage of them is you can run a big prop. So they're just very talky, lower RPM, but very talky. Um, so I will run it... Um, with this same prop that this one has these have a i think it's 950 kv something like that i think what is it yeah 950 kv um so this one's only 800 kv so it's going to be slower for sure but i'll get half an hour runtime out of it with, yeah, with that size prop so I'll, I'll run it with that and then i'll put a, a decent prop on there that this can handle which is probably going to be i'm going to guess probably 70 mil i, I reckon i'd be able to run with this on 6s probably could run 8s as well come to think of it i'll see what happens so i just want to try one of these in a boat i'm actually going to try a couple of them on something pretty special in a couple of weeks um, but that's a whole different video so i'll run this today gps it put one of these in there and play around with props and see if anything decent comes of it and after that then i'll put some tp motors in it uh, i'll just do a baseline test with all the the trim tabs and the stinger dead level and we'll just leave all the settings at this at this leave everything at this setting no matter what prop i put on it or what motor i put on it so yeah it's a nice nice setting for a mix of speed and um, drivability without having to back off So we have a top speed of 73.6. That's our baseline, 73.6 k's an hour. We have to get better than that. Okay, so I've got the baseline speed of 67 k's an hour with this setup. I'm sure it could go a little bit quicker um, if I you know, made the boat run looser, but that's not what this is all about. It's comparing one motor for another um i don't actually think this is going to fit in there now i was looking at the bolt spacing there it's probably a 35 mil or 30 mil bolt spacing whereas this looks like 25 mil so i may not be able to do this motor in here which is unfortunate but i'll rip that one out and if it doesn't fit we'll put something else in there okay so getting that out of there was no problem um just um four bolts on the front the two on the back they face straight down so it's easy to get to i did think this was going to be a wider bolt spacing but it's not they're 25 mil which is what this is so i've got no problems there if i go to put a, a tp motor in it though then i'm going to have problems it's there because they're 30 mil they're 35 actually the big the big motors so yeah i'd have to deal with something there probably make up another plate here uh the shaft i can see looks to be a little bit longer so i'll just shorten that down and it these are an eight mil shaft this is only a five mil shaft this is the collet that was on these ones i'll, I'll just start over with it with a brand new one i don't want anything slipping so yeah well, it's all going to be pretty straightforward um i'm just going to make up some extensions for my wires because they're not going to reach down to here so i have to do that too
Okay, that was all pretty simple. Um, motor went straight in. Terminals they use on the speed controller isn't 6mm like I thought it was going to be like I had on my motor. They were not 8mm either. They must be 65 So I pulled, desoldered the old terminals off the old motor. Made up some little extensions because the wires weren't long enough. Um, so that's sorted. The collar I was going to use was too big to go in here. So I'd have to remove that, that cover if I was going to use one of our own brand collets. Or maybe ream it out a little bit. Alright, let's uh, get him turned on. And watch the smoke come out. Hopefully not. Oh, I haven't put this one in. Just got to screw that back in there. Going the right way. They do make a very cool sound when they're slowing down these motors. Imagine four of them in the boat that I was in, how much or that I had them in. How, like that. That noise they used to make times by four. Alright, so it's not going to be that fast. I'm running on two cells less. It's only a six cell motor. Um, I'm just going to run it with the same small prop um, that came out with it that the other motor was running, I should say. And uh, we'll just see what it does to start with, then I'll put a bigger prop on. Probably only do like 45. <laughs> Steering, what's going on here? I think it's better. Okay, that's flat out. It's actually a bit faster than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Alright, so we'll put the bigger prop on now and see what happens. Okay, so no surprises there. That sound. Okay, so that did 50, 50.9. I'm 67 with the stock motor yesterday on 8S. This is um, only on 6S and less KV, 950 down to 800. So let's get this bigger prop on there and see what it does. All right, so we've gone from 55.14 to a 65.16. So more diameter, more pitch. As long as the motor is strong enough to turn it, it'll go faster. And there you go. No, it's probably up to 60 now, barely, maybe 55 to 60. So we'll have to get a bigger prop on there, as long as it doesn't come back steaming hot. <laughs> Fuck, I'm not going to hit it twice, surely I would have learnt my lesson after yesterday, don't you think? Only an idiot would make the same mistake twice. I'm just holding it flat to get that motor hot-ish. Did 59.5. Get close for the old 60. I wouldn't touch it. Yeah, it's on the warm side. <laughs> it's 
speed control is not it wouldn't it was not even barely warm I mean. batteries oh, yeah. batteries are a little bit of warmth to them all right okay yeah it's definitely too hot the motor is so I won't try anything else with that yeah well, there you go you live and learn